Boom! Welcome back to The Perfect Bag. My name's Clint, and today I am excited because we are diving into a fantastic bag. This bag is actually in my top 10 bags of 2023, and I'm sneaking this One Take Bag review in under the wire in 2023. Happy New Year, by the way, everybody. And I just, I'm just hyped about it. I showed it to you a little bit in that top 10 video. We're going to do a deeper dive today. We're going to do what we do on this channel. One Take Bag Review. We're going to do a walkthrough inside, outside, all the nooks and crannies. You're going to get two things that I love about this bag. Two things that I think could be better and an overall discussion of who might this be the perfect bag for and what bag are we talking about? We're talking about this. Boom! The Catalyst 26 liter backpack from Mystery Ranch. This is my favorite bag that Mystery Ranch put out this year. It is an updated version of the Urban Assault series, eh, maybe of the Cooley series, but it is their most feature-rich tri-zip backpack, in my humble opinion, and it is a great bag for EDC and office carry. Spoiler alert, I love the bag. Okay, let's get into it. We're going to start with the walkthrough. We're going to get into the exterior features first. This is an outdoorsy looking bag with nice um, water resistant material, aqua guard zippers all over. This is in a rust color colorway. I really like the khaki colored version of this. I think they call it pebble or stone. I can't remember. It looks even better than this one in my humble opinion. It was sold out. I got the rust. All good. So we got aqua guard zippers. Let's talk exterior features first. We have the tri-zip, which we will get into. Some people love it. Some people hate it. We've got the Mystery Ranch logo up here up top, uh, right smack dab. It's what they always do. Some people love it. I hate it. I, they could just do the little try atomic looking thing um, instead of this label. I think that would look classier, look better, but who am I to tell Mystery Ranch what to do? They're an incredibly successful company and I mean just intertwined with the history of carry and backpacks. Um, it's uh, an OG brand. All right, uh, this bag, you can't talk about the exterior without talking about the harness. Now, is this Mystery Ranch's best harness? No, um, the best harness is the Futura harness that is removable, adjustable, sizable, etc. This is a good harness though. It's very comfortable. You have a very nice, look at the back panel here. You've got a very nice back panel. Uh, you've got load lifters. You've got a Duraflex sternum strap. Uh, you got everything that you could possibly need. At the end of the video, as always, I'll wear this bag for your enjoyment. Up top, you've got a very nice grab handle. Nothing wrong with it. Nylon folded over, extra thick, very beefy, very grabbable grab handle. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. All right, what are all these dangly bits? Well, you've got um, nice uh, just nylon zipper pulls. They're, they're sewn, they're doubled over, they're easy to grab. They're very nice, no issue with them. You've got actually zipper pulls in all the corners that you can pull against when you are zippering the zippers. Good feature. And one of the signature features of the Catalyst lineup, you've got dual wielding bottle pockets on the sides. So bottle pocket here, very nice, very large bottle pocket over here. I've tossed in a battery backup. So really nice bottle pockets, really expandable. We'll do a kind of will it fit here in a little bit with these bottle pockets, see how it works out for us. All right, I think it's time. It's time for us to jump into camera number two and check out the interior of this bag. Let's do it. All right, it's time. We're gonna get into it, but first let's uh, check out these bottle pockets. I think it's a signature feature on this bag and it's worth understanding how big they are. So check out the interior. It's very, very nice material. It doesn't have a ton of stretch. It's not elastic. It's made of the same uh, durable nylon material as the rest of the bag here. 
very nice. Uh, the swell bottle that I looked at earlier, that I had in here earlier, is a 20 ounce swell bottle. It fits with no problem, okay? Let's check out other bottles. This is a Starbucks bottle. Fits with no problem. Uh, this is about the same size-ish. This is an Avex warm bottle for coffee. It fits with no problem. Let's go a little bit bigger. This is from Hydra Peak, and this is a 40 ouncer. Does it fit? It does. Huh, okay. And uh, how about uh, this? This is a Hydra Flask. Which one is this? This is the 32 ounce Hydra Flask. Does that fit? Uh, yeah, it does. So you're not gonna get like a 64 ounce Nalgene in here, but uh, yeah, there we go. Bottle Palooza, it all fits. All right, and you can see this material in this bag is just really nice, really, listen to the crinkle, really water resistant. Okay, so it's zipper time. We're gonna check out the main compartment first. This is the tri-zip, it's sticking its tongue out at us always. So you can pull this down and you can rip this up. And pull this down. So these AquaGuard zippers are not the most rippable zippers. So you do have that going on, which some people love, some people don't love. I would actually like this better, a little better without the AquaGuard. Okay, let's get into it. All right, I've got a pouch in here with some knickknacks and doodads. And then inside here, you've got three pockets and then some extra storage options, all right? So pockets on the side up here. Battery backup. Over here, just some blue light blocking glasses. In the back here, a really nice pocket. I've used it for a gaming device. And then you've got some really cool options. So this is a slip pocket here. That's for Kindles and tablets and such. I don't have mine in there right now. Um, and then over here on this side, you have a slip pocket. And then this is a little hard to see, even in camera number two, you've got stretchy Molly attachments here. One, two, three, and then down here, four and five. So slip pocket right here stretch pocket, and then an interior water bottle pocket here, which is a really nice feature and only available on the 26 liter. There's three different sizes of this bag available. The water bottle pocket is only available on the largest, the 26 liter, but all of them have the exterior water bottle pockets. I like this for umbrella. I also like this for, I can put my gimbal in here. You know, you can use this for a lot of different things, not just for an interior bottle pocket. Cause I mean, honestly, how many bottle pocket bottles do we need? Right? <laughs> so three bottle holders for, I guess a triple wielder. Um, that's what is that? That's the dude from one piece is a triple wielder. It's the only triple wielder I know of. Okay. Anyway, that's it on the interior of the bag. There's just a lot of options and you can see why I think this is the most feature rich of all the bags that Mystery Ranch has in their lineup right now. It's just really good for EDC and tech carry. You've got a lot, you've got a tablet sleeve here, you've got all kinds of pockets and a big ton of space. All right, let's zip this back up because we're not done. There's actually more I wanna show you about this bag, starting with up top here, this quick access pocket. So a really nice quick access pocket up here. Let me show you inside, look at that. Got a wallet, AirPods, knife. Yeah, it's just really nice. There is a key leash in here as well. And you can see that the material itself is mesh on the inside. You can see it from the outside. You can see straight through, but uh, yeah, a nice useful pocket. Nothing wrong with that. And AquaGuard, just like the rest of the bag. And then what's this? On the back, we have a laptop compartment subdivided, cushioned, suspended. I've got a 14 inch laptop in there. No issue with that. Yeah. 
everything you could want in a little office bag, right? All right, meet me back at camera number one. Let's talk about this thing. Well, well, well. Now I've just got all kinds of bottles here. Okay, anyway. Two things that I love about the Catalyst 26. The first thing that I really love about this bottle is the water bottle pockets, and I'm counting all three of them, okay? So on the exterior, it's just a really useful, nice water bottle pocket, right? Um, works perfectly, doesn't slip and slide too much, um, and I carry battery backup in one, water bottle in the other. So easy peasy, right? I love also that this 26 liter version has the interior water bottle pocket too. I just think that's a really, really cool feature. Really cool feature to have that on the inside. Very useful, love that. The second thing I really like about this bag is the addition of the exterior water, exterior water bottle. I'm into the water bottle pockets, y'all. Exterior laptop compartment. It's really good. Even my beautiful Unicorn 2.0, the laptop option in that, it's a side entry to a main compartment laptop sleeve. This is a full external laptop compartment and it's really, really nice. So great laptop bag and just a, a real gem in the Mystery Ranch lineup. There's a couple of things I think could be better two of them specifically. The first one is, I wish that we did not have AquaGuard zippers on the uh, front pocket, the tri-zip here. I wish it was a regular zipper. Because you've got the external laptop sleeve, you could seal that up, use that as AquaGuard. You could even AquaGuard this quick access pocket on the top of the bag. I've got no problem with that. But the tri-zip, I just would love to just be able to rip into that tri-zip and just, you know, tear it open um, much faster, but it's got that same hitch in the giddy up of the zipper that I don't like at all about my Unicorn 2.0. So yeah, the, the AquaGuard is just okay for me. Um, and then um, interior wise here, as much as I love the pocket layout, I love this one, this one, and this one, this whole Molly panel on the interior is pretty much inaccessible because of where the tri-zip stops down here. So I think you could have not done the one, two, three, four, five, five panels and a slip pocket on the uh, interior here on the back panel. And you could have just done either hook and loop on the right hand side or one large zippered pocket. I mean, honestly, you could have done two of these bottle pockets and used them for whatever you want, even with a snap closure at the top. So uh, it looks nice, but it's kind of unusable on the back. Um, yeah, just really hard to use. Uh, but overall, what do I think? I think this is my favorite Mystery Ranch bag. Yeah, this one, not that one, this one. I love the Catalyst. I think I'd love an X-Pack version of this bag. It's really, really, really cool. Um, I, I've got really no genuine complaints. It's a very usable and useful bag. So if you're in the lineup, excuse me, if you're in the market for a tri-zip from Mystery Ranch's lineup, then you should take a good hard look at the Catalyst 26 because it might be the perfect bag for you uh, if you're an office carry EDC bag lover. It's just really nice. And I guess it always comes with that caveat. Some people just never get used to the tri-zip. Some people just would prefer a panel loader or a half a zip as opposed to this tri-zip. The functionality of the tri-zip is really nice um, if you understand what it is and how to use it. And what I mean by that is that the tri-zip isn't designed to be open fully like this all the time. The tri-zip is designed to be a top-loading backpack that has the additional option for a duffel-style opening. And so, you know, you set your bag down and you can open it up like a duffel and access everything, but usually, out and on the go, you are going to be ripping the top open and using it as a top-loading backpack. And 
that's where this really shines for me because I actually am one of the few people in the universe that prefers a top loading bag. I really enjoy top loaders like my Jansport hatchet up here. I think they're underrated in the carry community. All right, so everybody, that's it. I'm about to wear this bag for your enjoyment, but uh, I hope you enjoyed getting a chance to see this really unique and beautiful bag from Mystery Ranch's lineup. And I think it's really kind of the unsung hero of their lineup. It is a great bag that can be used in an outdoor setting with no problem, but really might be one of their only bags that is perfect for an EDC office tech setup, which is kind of the sweet spot for me as a user. All right, everybody, thank you so much, as always, for supporting The Perfect Bag. If you enjoy bags like this, you may want to check out theperfectbag.us where we actually sell some of the bags that we review on this channel. That helps me continue the circle of life and <laughs> sell some bags to bring in more bags to make great content for you. So if you haven't already, please check out theperfectbag.us and pick yourself up a bag. All right, everybody. Thanks so much as always for the love and support and we will see you next time. Bye for now.